It was June and nearing the closing time of school. The air was full of the sound of bustle and preparation for the final exercises, field day, and drills. Drills especially, for nothing so gladdens the heart of the Washington mother, be she black or white, as seeing her boy in the blue cadet's uniform marching proudly to the huzzas of an admiring crowd. Then she forgets the many nights when he has come in tired out and dusty from his practice drill and feels only the pride and elation of the result. Although Tom did all he could outside of study hours, there were many days of hard work for Hannah Davis when her son went into the high school, but she took it upon herself gladly since it gave Bud the chance to learn that she wanted him to have. When, however, he entered the cadet corps, it seemed to her as if the first steps toward the fulfillment of all her hopes had been made. It was a hard pull to her getting the uniform, but Bud himself helped manfully and when his mother saw him rigged out in all his regimentals, she felt that she had not toiled in vain. And in fact, it was worth all the trouble and expense just to see the joy and pride of little sister who adored Bud. As the time for the competitive drill drew near, there was an air of suppressed excitement about the little house on D Street where the three lived. All day long, little sister, who was never very well, and did not go to school, sat and looked out of the window on the uninteresting prospect of a dusty thoroughfare lined on either side with dull red brick houses, all of the same ugly pattern.